All right, so. Welcome back to Crow Creations, everyone. I'm Dan the Man, and uh, this is another episode of Jeeps Do It Already. So, it is time to get this motor together and get it in the frame. So, it is time to start putting together the integral components. I know it's been a while since the last video. Um, a little bit's been going on in life. I've gotten a new job. Things have changed, like I said, and uh, it's all for the better. So. We're now moving forward with the Jeep project. I know it's been, I think it's been probably about seven or eight months since my last video, uh, but we need to get this done. I want this thing running and driving in the summer. This summer, summer of 2023, I want it running and driving. So, in order to get that going, we need to get the motor together first, get the transmission gone through, which you can't really see, it's down here. Um, you might be able to, don't know. Whatever, either way, that has to get gone through all the seals that are possibly leaking. Possibly leaking um, any of the joints between the transfer casing and the transmission. I want to make sure everything is sealed up. I don't want to have any issues. I'm going to check the actual chains inside the torque. If I could speak. I'm going to check the chains inside the transfer case just to make sure that everything's good on the drive chains. I don't want to have any slapping or anything. Um, probably not going to even really need four wheel drive too much. I'm not going to be taking this thing out in the woods once it's done. Um, maybe a little bit. We'll see. But, like I said, it's time to move forward get this motor together. Uh, we have a nice new valve cover. And I'll probably explain some stuff throughout this video. But Got a nice new valve cover to put on here because the old one was actually not the right one for the right head. So I had no idea that the head on this motor, come to find out, is from a 1985. So that valve cover off of my 89 will not fit or work with this head. So I found a good deal on a value valve cover because this is a budget build but I want to do it right. Um, I ended up getting it and I ended up getting it just in time to get this thing starting to go together. So it's gonna fit on there just like so. It's gonna look beautiful all together. Uh, I just ordered a clear distributor cap that's gonna look pretty neat kind of weird I know but whatever welcome to the 90s kid um, but yeah first I'm gonna start I'm gonna get some gasket shellac on the surfaces let it tack up and then I'm going to place my gasket I'm going to thread in my place my gasket I'm going to place my valve cover and I'm going to thread in my bolts and tighten them gently uh, I'm also going to be applying anti-seize to the bolts because I did take and I did take and get stainless hardware for this. Uh, I know people are gonna say whatever about it, but I think it looks good and it's not gonna hit salt too much. I'm gonna keep a good eye on everything and this is gonna be my baby when it's done. So, time to get moving. Get this thing installed. Let's get the gasket shellac. Now one thing that I'm going to note, I don't know if anyone else is installing a valve cover, but if you do and you're ordering a new one, make sure that these plates are tight and these screws are tight because if you drop one of those in your motor, you're not going to have a fun day. But I'm going to get this shellacked up. I don't want any leaking. A nice light coat of gasket shellac on surface and let it tack up. I'm going to apply the same to the head. Now in order for me to even use this valve cover I actually had to drill and tap these two holes because the original valve cover is a plastic style and those are known to leak obviously I'm assuming there's just some sort of a pin that holds those sides down 
and you rely on the tightness of these other five bolts. Now that those surfaces are all tacked up, I'm going to take and get my cork gasket. Yes, cork, because I'm going old school with this one. Not only that, this is the one that came with the valve cover. So put a nice cork gasket on, lining all my bolt holes as best as can be. Now that the cork is tacked down in place, I'll go ahead and show you what that shellac looks like. Noxious, but we're in place. Now, we're going to anti-seize each bolt as we put it in. Alright, that one's started. Before we tighten them all, we're going to get the rest in. Working with a single Allen wrench that I had to grind down to fit these, because all my good ones are at work. So this is going to be a fun process. Okay, valve cover is installed. She's looking pretty good. I like it. Alright, next is the oil pan. 